Hey there. School dude Clem here, as some of you think I say. Well, I'm just doing a little video here to announce the fact that there's going to be a bit of a change to my videos. Probably not permanently, but temporarily anyway. The reason is that this is the main camera that I use to make my YouTube videos on. And at the moment, it's very temperamental. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's just see if it's going to do anything when I turn it on. Okay, actually this time it's decided to behave, but um, sometimes this won't make a recording, you know? I press the... I start this thing recording and I go to play it back later and that file is just nowhere to be found. Sometimes it'll say check card even though the card is nowhere near full. So, one thing you're going to notice is that the picture quality isn't as good as it usually is. I mean, this is the only high-definition camera I have. Well, says high-definition. Claims to have full HD and 8.9 megapixels, but I can tell you, the sensor in this camera is nowhere near that. Anyway, I'm going to be doing some rant videos, so... If you see this particular shot, you're going to know that this is going to be one of those videos. Right, so this is the setup. Got my microphone on this very makeshift microphone stand here. That's going into my microphone preamp, and then that's going into the computer. And for video, I'm using this old security camera here. Now this only outputs composite video, it doesn't output any kind of digital video, so to get this into the computer, I've got one of those little USB dongles that has composite video going in one side and USB video going out the other side. So, there's a camera. And this thing, this white thing that you can see in the background, this is the light source. Which if I turn this on, That's a nice illumination for my face. Although that's probably not a very good idea, but... Yeah. And both the camera... Oh, let me just turn that off, or you'll never be able to see. Both this camera and the light source are being powered off this transformer. So we've got one side of the transformer going up here. Going into this rectifier, and then into this switch, which I can use to turn the light on and off. And also I've got about 13 volts AC going straight into this camera, which is perfectly enough to power it. And yes, I did say AC because this camera can be AC powered or DC, it doesn't have any effect on it. And we can see here, open broadcaster, with the picture from the camera, and the sound from the microphone. The nice thing about this is, let's just see if I can get the properties up here. Maybe it's in filters. Okay, I've forgotten how to get the... Um, Deinterlacing settings up and everything, but the nice thing about this is it deinterlaces it to the full 50 frames a second and then upscales it to the full 1920 by 1080. And although the camera is 50 frames a second, I'm recording at 60 because although it's kind of counterintuitive, recording at 60 frames a second does actually seem to work a little better. Also, that's more in line with some of the other footage that I'm going to be using, which is going to be at either 30 or 60, so that just makes more sense that way. So as far as video editing goes, now, I've been trying out a few various different free video editors. Let's see, what was, was it now? I tried out OpenShot, Shotcut, and DaVinci Resolve, and um, I didn't get on very well with OpenShot, and I didn't get on with DaVinci Resolve at all. Shotcut, on the other hand, seemed to work really well. So, let's just, um, let's just load up DaVinci Resolve here. This is going to take a while. 
so I'm just going to go into my untitled project here. Hopefully you can see the mouse pointer. I don't know if I enabled that or not, but... Yeah, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. And to put some footage in here, what you have to do is grab these files and drag them over into the media pool. And, as you can see, nothing happens. We'll try it again. It doesn't do it. Try to import media this way. Just select those these files here. Again, it doesn't do anything. So, yeah, that's really good, isn't it? Now, let's have a look at OpenShot. So, this is the first video editor I tried. Now, this one actually does let you bring in the clips. I'm going to do the same thing that I tried with DaVinci Resolve. As you can see, there they are. This is... These are a few clips from the rant that I'm doing. Let's just... Um, we in a couple of clips here. I'll bring that one in. And um, let's bring this one here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm saying in each of these, but it doesn't really matter. I don't even know if I've got um open broadcaster set up so it will capture the sound from this, but this is just so clunky and slow. And look at this, you can only see one track at a time. You have to scroll if you want to see the other tracks. But when I play this, it's a slow, I mean, so slow and stuttering, it's just unusable. After season 3, it just started going downhill. And when it got to season 10, I just, of course, now I say that, it's actually decided to behave. But yeah, generally I didn't really get on very well with this, so I tried, oh, no, what's now Shotcut? Let's just go into Shotcut here. And this one I actually did get on pretty well with. Little project here, this is the rant that I'm doing. Let's just have a look at that. There it comes. Just move this on a little bit. So let's have a look at this part here. Even if other people don't. These little bookshelf speakers here are quite adequate for my needs. And I don't have them turned up so loud that the whole house is vibrating. If I want to have my music on loud, I don't mean like... Yeah, so that, that works pretty well. And that's what the first part of the rant is going to be edited on. Well, I've got some ranting to do now. But before that, I've got a little electronics video to do. So, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, well, I won't actually see you in the next video. But, until next time, goodbye.